Looking to buy a new CPU and don't know what you need or how much you should spend? Well, let's go over what differentiates a low tier CPU versus a high tier CPU. When it comes to the i series of CPUs, it's important to note that the relationship between the i series and the clock speed is not always straightforward. In general, low tier CPUs such as i3s tend to have higher base clock speeds than mid range and high tier CPUs such as the i5s, 7s, or 9s. This means that an i3 CPU may be able to perform certain tasks faster than an i7 or an i9, all else being equal. However, it's important to keep in mind that clock speed is just one factor that affects a CPU's performance, and there are other factors, such as the number of cores and the architecture of the CPU, to consider as well. For example, an i5 or an i7 may have more cores and be able to handle more tasks at once, which can compensate for their lower clock speeds in certain situations. In general, a high tier CPU with more cores and a higher clock speed should provide better performance in a CPU intensive task, such as gaming and video editing. However, it's always a good idea to consider your specific needs and budget before making a decision. Not to mention, does the game you're playing even utilize multi-core rendering? Multi-core rendering is a technique that allows a video game to use multiple CPU cores to improve performance. When a game is running, it may place a heavy load on the CPU, which can result in lower frame rates and reduced overall performance. Multi-core rendering allows the game to use multiple cores of the CPU simultaneously to divide the workload and improve the performance. Now, not all games are able to utilize multi-core rendering, and the extent to which a game is able to take advantage of multiple cores can vary. Some games may see significant performance improvements with multi-core rendering, while others may see only minor gains or no improvement at all. In general, games that are more CPU intensive are more likely to benefit from multi-core rendering. It is worth noting that multi-core rendering is not the only factor that can affect the performance of a game. The number of cores and the clock speed of the CPU, the graphics card, and other hardware components can also play a role in determining game's performance. Additionally, the settings and options chosen within the game can also have an impact on performance. When it comes to future-proofing your PC hardware, the i-series and the generation of your CPU are important factors to consider. In general, a higher i-series and a newer generation CPU may be more future-proof due to their advanced features and improved performance. However, it's important to consider the overall quality and reliability of the components as well. It's worth noting that the ability to upgrade to a more advanced CPU is still possible without changing any other components in your PC, as long as the rest of your hardware is compatible and the BIOS is up to date. However, it's important to make sure that the socket on your motherboard is compatible with the new CPU, and to check the manufacturer's website for compatibility and update information before making any upgrades. For example, if you have an i3 10th gen CPU, you can easily upgrade to an i9 10th or 11th gen CPU since the socket types are the same. That said, power consumption will still be a factor. So to summarize, low tier CPUs such as i3s may be a good choice for users who don't need top of the line performance and are looking for a more budget friendly option. They tend to have higher base clock speeds than mid range and high tier CPUs such as the i5, 7s and 9s, but may not provide the same level of performance or have as many advanced features. On the other hand, high tier CPUs with more cores may provide better performance in CPU intensive tasks such as gaming and video editing, but will be more expensive. When it comes to future-proofing your PC hardware, a higher i-series and a newer generation CPU may be more future-proof due to their advanced features and improved performance, but it's important to consider the overall quality and reliability of the components as well. The ability to upgrade to a more advanced CPU is still possible without any changes to other components in your PC, so long as the rest of your hardware is compatible and your BIOS is up to date. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to join us in the Latency Discord for our Tech Tuesday sessions, where we go over these videos in greater detail.